Hey, it's Jeremy from RetroShop. I just wanted to make a quick video showing how to hook up the RGB color changing halos here. Had a few questions and it's really simple, so I just wanted to make sure that I went through a couple quick things to ensure that these are hooked up correctly. So what you've got here, this is one of our fog lights for the 2013 Plus Ram. Completed those today and these are going to go out tomorrow. Uh, a great candidate to show you what to do on these. So you've got some sort of a headlight, fog light, whatever, with the rings in them. You're going to have a regulator. These must be installed on every installation. You're going to have a controller. This is the standard M7 controller here with the RF remote. So basically every single one of these is going to have some sort of plug on the end here that's wired uh, or labeled here. This one shows fog halo. This one shows fogs. So you'll notice on this one here we have two outputs and we've got one input. So this one here controls two different fog lights. What you'll do, you'll line the colors up here and you'll plug these in. This one will be used for the other fog light, so currently not used on this video. This one here is your input to the controller. So again, your controller here. It's got a four-way head here. Uh, you may not use it all for every application. Each one of them has an arrow on them. That arrow will go to the black wire. So just plug this in. And on each one of these, it needs some sort of a power source. Uh, this one here is our test unit. We've got it, you know, with the simple connection here and then just another plug here that we can plug into our uh, benchtop unit here. Sometimes this will come with a, you know, just a bare leads for two wires to go through. Uh, really, it's up to you on how you want to power these things. So, you know, most people will run it to the battery. If you do, you want to make sure that you have fuse between the battery and the control box here. So, once these are hooked up, and I'm just hooking this up on outside here to my 12 volt uh, power supply. Once everything is hooked up with the regulators in line, that's when you can finally give it power. So here's what we have kind of jumping through the different colors here. And the colors are controlled with your remote here. So you can set this to red, green, blue, yellow, purple, cyan, and white, and a bunch of different functions here to change that. You know, and you've got uh, different ones here that you can change, you know, more red, more green, more blue. You can set those as presets here. So just some neat little functions there. So this is how you hook these up. Really not too overly complicated. Just have to make sure, again, that these regulators are in line. If the regulator is not in line, uh, you'll see that the ring will basically burn up. Uh, the red will suck down so much power that it will burn through these LEDs in a heartbeat and you'll have little spots of red here. That is not covered under warranty if these are not hooked up correctly. So again, from the headlight itself or the fog light, just line up your colors here into the regulator box, into the control box. The black wire goes to the arrow from the control box here to some sort of a 12 volt source. All set. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, jeremy at retroshop.us. Thank you very much.